In this part we will talk about a dog breed, the Labrador Retriever, which is one of the most popular dog breeds in the Anglo-Saxon countries, has an almost rented place in the top five, and its popularity is constantly growing steadily all over the world. Although increasingly considered as the so-called best family dog in our days, few know that the ancestors of the Labrador Retrievers were working dogs who worked hard together with their owners. So let's take a look at the seven points that a future Labrador buyer should go through before deciding on this breed. The final point will also reveal whether the Labrador is an ideal choice for a novice dog owner. In order not to accidentally miss the next parts of the series and to receive instant notifications about new parts, subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button. 1. A Brief History of the Labrador Retriever The Labrador is a dog breed originated in Newfoundland where it was originally the all-round dog of local fishermen. Their job was to help fishermen pull their nets and bring back objects that had fallen into the water while working in toad cords loaded with fish. They first came to England on ships in the 1800s, where they were discovered and admired by an English nobleman, Count Malmesbury, who recognized the breed's excellent hunting and apport qualities. He began breeding and formulated Evan, who was the ancestor of all present-day Labradors. Since then, Labrador Retrievers has become so popular by today that a black Labrador was elected mayor in a small town in Kentucky, America, from 2004 to 2008. 2. The Personality of the Labrador Retriever The Labrador is a very balanced dog breed away from extremes. They are not tremulous or shy, but they are not aggressive either. They are generally fundamentally positive towards everyone and extremely human-centered. Due to their past, they love water, swimming, but they adapt easily and quickly to almost any circumstances. They love activities and movement, they love being in constant company, they can't stand isolation and loneliness. We can also say that they are one of the most greediest dogs in the world, they love to eat and are very prone to gaining weight. 3. Labrador Size and Coat Labradors weigh 25 to 35 kilograms and have an average height of 55 to 62 centimeters. Their undercoat is waterproof and there is a finger web between their toes. Their coat is short, compact and comes in three colors, for a very long time it was exclusively black, the yellow color appeared later, which was considered a defect for a long time and was finally accepted. The today most popular brown or chocolate brown color appeared in the 1970s and became accepted. 4. The Trainability of the Labrador Retriever The Labrador is an easy learning and versatile dog that can be trained for almost any type of task. It is used as a lifeguard for hunting, for drug searches, for truffle searches, but also as a therapeutic and guide dog. What is not suitable for them and cannot be trained is the guard and protective work, the hardness is far from his personality, the Labradors were not bred for this, and that is why it is not their job. The maximum a Labrador would do to a burglar is that he licks the burglar to death, but will not attack at any circumstances. If you want a guard dog, don't think of and have Labradors. 5. The Activity of the Labrador Retriever Labradors love to move and do almost everything together with their owners and their family. Although they are not a long-distance runners, they like to fetch balls, play jog, run smaller distances, and in the water they are in their element, they swim, dive underwater, and they are unstoppable when they see water. As you are prone to gaining weight very much, their excellent apporting abilities and skills can be a big help in losing weight. 6. The Health Issues of Labradors Labradors have an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years, but 14 to 15-year-old dogs also occur among them. Due to their popularity, almost all forms of dysplasia and ophthalmic diseases such as progressive retinal atrophy or hereditary cataracts occur among them. Since these diseases can already be screened in parents, it is especially important for Labrador buyer to choose a puppy from well-controlled dogs and breeders and thus extend their healthy lifespan as long as it is possible. 7. And finally the last question, can the Labrador be offered to a novice dog owner? Because of their basic kindness, intelligence, and tolerant nature, the Labrador can sincerely be recommended to a novice dog owner, if the novice owner has enough time to move the dog, keep the Labrador active, and spend a lot of time with it. Let's not forget, because of his working and hunter history and background, the Labrador requires a lot of activities, and because of its gluttony, they require consistency. 
If you can't resist the innocent, hungry dog gaze in front of the plate, which many times gets to the level of a theatrical premiere, then you should not choose a Labrador for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell button to get notifications of new parts. Thank you very much for your attention.